So, hi, uh, I'm CK, I work for Akamai. Last year I talked about, in the lightning talk, how someone took over my Facebook account and posted cat pictures. We are not doing that today. Uh, today we talk about the worst kept secret for the last year, um, also known as ICN, or as other people said, what is Jared doing the whole day? Let's see if we find out. A short recap, um, as you might know or not, um, well, Akamai is a highly distributed platform, right? We are CDN, 130 countries, all of that kind of stuff. And uh, what we told you guys for all these years is that we act on islands. So all the clusters we build are islands. They, are not a, they don't have a backbone. Um, we put a certain amount of servers either on it or at an IX, depending on how many we need for that particular region to serve the eyeballs. And then this is a standalone cluster. Sometimes we had situations where clusters for various purposes were actually in the same data center. So you had a row with 10 um, racks of servers, and there might have been two or three different clusters for different purposes, but they never talked to each other. Uh, whenever the clusters actually either would have to talk back to the mothership for monitoring or billing purposes, or to fill the cache with the content in the first place, um, then they used the internet. So we gave them transit, and this is how they talked to each other. Over the time, depending on the products we had, uh, we had actually more and more clusters talking to each other. We call that mid-crest traffic, and that traffic was growing. Um, as you all know, when you use transit extensively, then you might run into things where your ISP has tromboning issues, he filters, or two providers DP each other. So the mid-crest traffic we had when they either talked to each other or for the cash fill was actually often, or once in a while, impacted by these problems, as we all know them. Also, an interesting point is if you actually have clusters which want to now talk to each other, um, then you, when you use the internet, then you have exactly the feature set like everyone else. So latency, um, MTU, or you know, if you provide a high IPv6 or not, the one you're using, all that actually tells you how many features you have and what you can do with the clusters because you're not in control over it. So, what did we do? Well, we built a backbone. So the ICN stands for Intercity Network and it connects Akamai deployments together. So this is for the mid-crest traffic I talked about when they have to talk to each other. Um, Usually these are clusters which are at iAccess or you know, in carry a neutral data center. This is not the ones you have in your network, so we didn't go to your data center and connect them secretly. Um, then we started to connect them together with the ICN. This is not very different than you know, what a Facebook, Microsoft, Google did with their own backbone for their own purpose to transport own traffic between your own equipment. So as uh, we have more and more services and where it makes sense, this ICN will then also transport various other kind of traffics between our own infrastructure. What will it not do? Well, we are not building a ISP transit network. So the idea is not to sell transit, any kind of layer three, layer two VPNs, or you know, what are classical telco and ISP products. So this is not the point. The idea is also not to compete with the partners and the peers we have. So we are a CDN, that part hasn't changed. Uh, we also have no ambitions to become a tier one. And whoever thought about that they can sell, uh, buy voice minutes from us next month, it's also not happening. So why did we build it? Actually, it was the other way around. Uh, like in the last five or 10 years, the question was usually, why do you not have one? And uh, one of the main reasons was that the platform was really very distributed. And we didn't have a compute platform per se, like one of the others I mentioned before. So the traffic came usually from the origin server to one of the clusters and then was sent out to the iBoards. So it made never really sense from a financial or technical perspective to actually build one. With the increased mid traffic, this has changed. So one of the biggest reasons was financial reasons. Uh, we had actually cases where we delivered a bit and before it was going over boundaries of transit where we paid for five or six times. Bounced between different clusters before it was sent out at the end. Um, 
So now when you can deliver it yourself, you can see how you not just have an impact on the performance, but certainly also on the cost. It turns out when you're actually having uh, a backbone and you start talking about it internally in the company, then everyone figures out that they have use for it. So more and more departments actually figure out that this is a great idea and to what they want to do with it. So you get uh, actually more and more traffic on that. It also helps with traffic um, localization for end users. And now, uh, as we can have an impact on the cash fill, we can actually optimize it because now we can pick up the traffic ourselves and transport it for the clusters which are connected uh, to the caches. There are a couple of benefits for you. For the ones which have a cluster, an A and P, an online cluster in their network, then now some of the cache flow could, instead of um, via transit, if you peer with us, come from the ICN network. Um, the other big part is for the people who peered with us, and this is probably the biggest difference. Um, usually you transported it to the cluster where we then have sent out the traffic, right? So the transport was on your backbone. Now, as we can peer in various cities and various locations, we can actually pick it up where you source it, where your data center is, where the origin is, and then transport it for the ones which are connected to the backbone ourselves to that. So you get rid of the traffic much earlier. That's how it looks like. So technically speaking, there are actually three backbones. Um, on the left side, the US, the nine metro areas which you might know, in Europe, it's currently four cities. And in Asia, if you actually want to call it a backbone, it's a city link uh, between Tokyo and Osaka. This part is already online. So it actually transports traffic since two months. And um, as time goes, we will add more and more cities and upgrade these locations. Before the first question comes, what is the speed and what is the bandwidth? So we decided to actually not even bother with 10 gigs and started to uh, with 100 gigs straight away. So all of these links are 100 gigs or multiple in the future. We have multiple phases. Two of them are interesting to point out here. So phase number one was the mid-crest traffic I talked about, the clusters which talk to each other. Um, and then you get the cost and the performance parts. So that part is complete. What we are now doing is we actually will add peerings to it and help that we get the origin fetches instead of via transit or via the various peering nodes which we had in the past but where they were not connected on the ICN and then transport it. We will hope in 2018, depending on what the traffic levels are, starting to connect the three continents, most likely Europe and the US first because that's where the bigger traffic levels are. And then as traffic grows, do the usual stuff. Bandwidth upgrades between the existing cities and the cities you have seen were just the start. So we will add as soon as it makes sense more and more cities, especially Europe. You can imagine uh, that we will not just be limited to the four I have shown. So, and with that, you might have a rough idea what Jared was doing in the last couple of months or the rest of the team for that sake. Here we go. Hello. Hi. How are you? I just shared our map with you because we got one too. You forgot us. But uh, Dave Temkin, Netflix. Um, it's interesting. I sent this to um, my boss who was involved in a fight when we first started building our backbone mm -hmm. uh, around basically we were told from way up high, actually there was a specific quote when I came back to Netflix, which was Temkin doesn't think he's building a network, does he? <laughs> and uh, of course now we do have a, a global backbone. Uh, my boss said it best, though, and it's, it's earlier today. The reason why we have to do this really is because the Internet is, is a concept, not a thing. And that at the end of the day, if you need to operate a global network like Akamai does, like Netflix does, uh, you can't have all of those features uh, and reliably know that they will exist across the entirety of the Internet. And to, so to your point, uh, I, I think that's, you know, I think what you're doing is absolutely the right answer. Um, but you, uh, um, if you're operating content delivery network and you need those kinds of localization features, i.e. you don't want to worry about moving traffic, say, from the U.S. to Tokyo, yeah, uh, building a network is absolutely the right way to go. Thanks. Good. Thanks a lot. <laughs> 